I just received my new Amazon glasses here at Enjoy Optical, and now I'm gonna do an unboxing and a live review. So I'm about to unbox the new Amazon glasses. Just received them about 30 minutes ago. This will be a live reaction and unboxing. Here we go. I got two models, one of the blue light filtering lens and then one with the sunglasses. Let's see here. We'll do the eyeglasses first, blue light filtering. You can see here they're pairing the Alexa with this pair of glasses. They're called Echo Frame Smart Audio Glasses with blue light filtering lenses. So let's open it up. The signature Amazon smile. So I'm, my initial reaction is they are the tortoise color and they are shiny, a glossy uh, finish on these glasses, not matte. You'll notice you'll have the chunkier sides, thicker sides. And then I do notice that spring loaded hinge as well. So it should be comfortable for most sizes. The one thing you gotta remember about spring loaded hinges is at times they can, um, they can lose that spring after a while. So that's something to be aware of. Not all of them, but some of them can lose that spring. And so they do have a half-life. Looks like a pretty significant pair of glasses. Um, Nice rubber tips here for it looks like you can do some good adjustments on there. And then once again, they have the blue light filtering lenses. Let's see what else is in the box. So it does look like it comes with a case. Nice sturdy case with cleaning cloth as well. Has your charging cable in here. Pretty simple case, nice and sturdy. There's some instructions. User guide. Put your cleaning cloth there. And that's that about does it for the box. So let's check out these glasses. I'm gonna try them on and check out some of the features. So these glasses are all about the tech. I would say in general, I have a wider PD and this fits me just fine. So that's something to be aware of is the fit. Online they uh, had medium and this is supposed to fit a medium and large head. Uh, so there wasn't 
really a lot of choices as far as the sizes, but this one in general should fit most people pretty comfortably. You can see a rectangle shape here, kind of a classic look. Size 5418. This is called the Echo Frame. This is model Z4NEU3. So now we get into the tech portion of this device. And of course, you have to log into Alexa, which I'll be honest with you, I have never um, Joshua. used Alexa. So I had to set it up from the very beginning, including uh, some voice activation and figuring out exactly how that works. And so it did take some time, but in general, it was pretty simple. And for anyone that has been using Alexa for a while, I'm sure it'll be very simple indeed, because mostly you're just logging in. It's obviously checking my voice ID here. So skipping through going through each stage. And this is really me setting up Alexa for the first time once again. So we're continuing the setup on the voice here. Once again, this is not something you'll need to do if you already have Alexa set up, but it's categorizing my voice because I've never used Alexa before. You can see I got one wrong here. So they're redoing it. So the voice idea has been created successfully and the profile's ready. Now it's getting access to your contacts. These are all options, so you don't have to do that. And now you can see I open the Alexa app. So here's all your possibilities, all the potential things that you can use this for. You can see it automatically finds the echo frames. It allows you to show the access to your location if you want, and then it's finding the frames as an accessory via Bluetooth here. So this is confirming the pairing. I like how simple the buttons are. So there's just a few buttons on the frame and they're really just the ones that are absolutely necessary. And I think that's helpful anytime you have a wearable device like this. So the pair has been successful here. And now we're diving into exactly how we're going to use it. Adjusting the volume, obviously this is so important. I noticed the volume was quite loud. I do think one of the uh, feedback features, and just so you know, is the volume is plenty, but it's not crisp and clear like a Bluetooth uh, headset or like a Bose head headset or Apple headset, but it is plenty of volume to be able to hear it. There's also something that's a little bit odd as far as the vibration. If you turn it up pretty loud, you're getting a vibration because it's so close to your ear and it's, and it's not actually in your ear. So that was one difference compared to um, headphones for me. Obviously you can reject calls, you can accept calls from it. Um, you can turn on notifications or turn them off, which I really like to have that kind of control because I'm not always wanting to uh, be plugged in or have the phone uh, notifications available. And so you can definitely do that. With that swipe of the finger, you can accept a call or reject a call. And so that's nice and user friendly. You do have the sleep mode where you can just truly turn it off if you don't want to uh, get those notifications or you don't want to be bothered. And how they do that, you actually set it down on the table face down, which I think makes a lot of sense because a lot of people uh, store their glasses like that on the table or whatnot, even in, during a meeting, if you need to set them down. So it's very natural for how we use our glasses typically. So as soon as you put them back on then, they're back active, ready to roll. And that's kind of the setup for the communications there. And then we're on to this VIP filter, which is kind of nice to have. It allows you to let certain people's calls come through. So if you want to put your partner or a good friend on there, it can have select people that actually go through, even if the notifications are off, similar to a bypass on an iPhone. 
You can also do this with apps. So if there's certain apps that you want to make sure you hear about, hear from, you can turn those on. So with Top VIP, Contact, you can set a shortcut to stay in touch with your favorite apps. person. Once you enable this feature, you'll be able to simply press and hold the touchpad to call your selected Top Contact. Everything's right there on that okay. temple, so it's very, uh, the sensitivity on it was really sharp, so I was happy with that as well. So some feedback on the tech side as well. Simple as that. I didn't give access to my contacts in my case, not wanting to do that right now. And then notification, same thing. I just kept that off for the time being, but pretty simple setup. So you've got it all set up now, and really it's just about how you're gonna use it. You know, setting those notifications or task or using that music player, but really however you use it at home or on your device now, it's just essentially a wearable device, something you're using in your daily life for eyeglasses or sunglasses, and now it has Alexa built in. So let's jump into the sunglasses and unbox those. So just like the blue light filtering lenses, this is a very similar shape frame. In fact, the same shape, a uh, different color. So it's like that darker, you could call it dark gray or black frame on the top, and then it gets lighter at the bottom. You can see the gray tinted lenses. Once again, it's called the Echo Frame. We'll open it up here. As you can see, those frames are very beautiful. Once again, glossy. And so you'll notice how they have that shine to them and same exact design, just a different color and with those tinted lenses. So that rubber backside is making it really comfortable. Thick temples, obviously hiding some of that tech on the inside there and that flex once again to make it really comfortable. Once again, same case, same experience here. Everything you need to maintain your glasses with a cleaning case and then of course the charging cable. I'll be interested to see how long the battery lasts and I can report back on that as well. Same type of book in there, care instructions and all of that. So once again, same experience as a blue light filter, you can do your tinted lenses. Keep in mind that you can always do prescription tinted lenses. As you can see, a nice sunglass, same shape as before, a little bit of different color. So you have this dark gray at the top and then a lighter gray at the bottom. Once again, the sides are the most significant part, but they do curve and make this rubber tip back here that's a little bit more streamlined, very comfortable. I'll say that it doesn't, it's not heavy. So it's easy to wear, comfortable on, and it has a little flex, which is nice, so that it's comfortable throughout the day. You can see a nice fit on me. I have a larger head, a little bit wider PD than most, and it fits me nicely. So here's one last up close look at the blue light filtering tortoise colored frame. They did a really good job with it. You can tell there's some cool features. They understand the glasses wears. I would say it's quality, but you really wanna be into the tech on this. It's not something you're gonna necessarily pick for style preferences. The colors are good. The design is good. But I would say in general, you definitely wanna be into the tech on this. But there's a review and hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask them but uh, hopefully this helps in your buying decision. So once again, the glasses guy here with all your tips and tricks for sunglasses and eyeglasses. And I hope you learned something from this video. I certainly did. This isn't a pair of glasses I would normally buy, but I wanted to review it for you. And I wanted to see something a little bit different, something with some tech involved. And here you are, the Echo Frame from Amazon. And I hope you have a great day.